To keep our stories lightweight and consistent, we use a simple template. So the template starts with a user story. This is why we call our product backlog items stories. The user story follows an as a I want so that format. And this is meant to be a quick summary snapshot. So anyone that opens the Jira issue can understand at a glance what the work is about. Then we use the outdoor practice of BDD or behavior driven development to craft our acceptance criteria. BDD follows a format of given, when, then, and it's written from the user's perspective. It's a great universal language that translates clearly across all disciplines, um, technical and non-technical. Anyone on the team can write it, understand it, and use it. For example, um, designers can use it to define expected user behavior. Developers can use it to write their unit tests. Um, product owners can use it to conduct acceptance testing. And then QA can use it to write their test cases or automated tests. And then we have space in the story for questions, notes, and tasks. We also have a simple template for bugs and spikes, again, to equip anyone on the team to create them. I keep all of these templates as a handy reference in Confluence. We also have a Jira automation rule set up to auto-populate each template, depending on the issue type created. So a story, a bug, or a spike. We simply set up a rule that whenever an issue is created and the description is empty, then populate it with the given template. 